Hey guys, Jim from Metro Square here. Welcome to part four of the takeoff tutorials and the getting started series for Metro Square 8. In this video, we will cover how to resize a room. As you can see, we already have our room drawn on the screen. If I need to resize a wall, it's as simple as left clicking on one of the bullet points on the walls, holding down on that left button on my mouse and then dragging the wall in the desired direction. You will see the measurements changing on the right and left side of these walls. Once I release the mouse, the room will now be resized. I'll do that one more time for you. I'm going to left click and hold down on this bullet point right next to the 36 foot dimension and then drag this wall out. You will see the dimensions on the top and bottom walls change accordingly. Once I let go, it will be released and those walls will now be resized. I can do the same resize by grabbing a corner of a wall as well. If you look towards the bottom left, I will left click and hold on this corner, drag down, and now you will see these lines change accordingly as well. Once I release, it will now be a new shape that I just resized. If I need to completely redraw a wall altogether, I can go to the top left under the room area of our toolbar, select this drop down menu, select reopen to draw. This will now give me the option to move my mouse in the middle of the room. You'll see that the walls will disappear and you'll see these various bullet points. If I hover over a bullet point, an X will appear on the mouse. And if I left click on this bullet point, it will delete this wall. So I will left click and now that wall has been deleted. If I move my mouse to another bullet point, I can delete this wall as well. So I will move towards the top, left click, and that wall has now been deleted. Now to get myself back into drawing mode, I will hover my mouse over the end point of a wall. You will see this hand icon up here. Once I left click, it will shoot me back into this free draw mode and I can continue drawing my room correctly. In the next video, we will cover drawing various shapes using our arc function to create curves.